Hey everybody, thank you for joining me today. In this video, we're going to paint North America's largest big cat. So, anybody have an idea of what that might be? Well, I'm gonna tell you, we're gonna paint a jaguar. If you know me, you know I love painting cats, big and small, and one of the best part of painting cats in my opinion well any animal for that matter is painting the eyes so this one is no exception so again thanks for joining me if you're my subscribers thank you so much and if you're not please sub consider subscribing and also if you like this video give it some thumbs up and if at some point you want to see some longer more real-time tutorials Hey, please check out my Patreon page too, okay? So again, thanks, and let's go ahead and get started on painting the Jaguar. Okay, so here I have started off the piece by just doing a very loose sketch with um, a wash of paint, and now I'm just kind of filling stuff in. Um, this is what I call the blocking in stage. It's very, very rough, and I tweaked the whole time. You can see I just dropped her jaw a little bit and started filling it in. Now you can see I've already kind of filled in the background and I love cutting in the whiskers when the paint is still wet. So I'm just using a paint scraper and filling the, you know, just cutting in the whiskers and, you know, I'm going back and continually filling in areas. Again, this is still, even this now is considered the blocking in stage. It will be a long time before I start getting into any kind of finished work. The spots, ah, the spots. There's lots of spots, obviously. And, you know, you have to take into account that with every angle and wrinkle of the cat's, you know, where she turns her head to the side or moves, those, those spots are gonna fall into those wrinkles. So you have to be very conscious of how they uh, line up on the body. You can tell too that I love, love, love working off of a tablet. In this case, I'm using a very old iPad. And why I like to use an iPad for my reference is because I can zoom in and zoom out as needed. It's um, ideal for me. It's I can't imagine doing work like this without an iPad. You can see here, you know, started. Of course, I jump right into the eyes because the eyes is the fun part. But I've got some close-ups coming up soon of the eyes. Now here you see I'm putting in the foliage. Um, you can tell that, you know, obviously this animal lives in a jungle. You know, the jaguar's habitat is actually a pretty big range, including, you know, the arid scrublands, thick tropical forests. They like swamps, coastal mangrove, lowland river valleys, grasslands. And they're one of the few big cats that just loves water and often hunts. They will take down some very large came in and take them out in the water. Uh, they're, they're fascinating animals. But I thought the foliage was important in this piece. And then I want to be able to create the shadow down her back. And you'll, you'll see me just do a, a little bit of a glazing in, and that comes a little bit later. Thank you. 
Now you see I'm getting into the fun stuff again. I'm really getting into the eyes. And of course, a lot of the details following, you're starting to get an idea of the, uh, the fur, you know, getting the, the detail work in the fur, and of course the eyes, that's always the best part. And I'm just, you know, I have to go in between the, <laughs> the spots now, so that gets a little bit tricky. But you almost have to lay the hair in over each other. So I will have light hairs going over some of the dark spots and some of the dark hairs going over the light areas, depending on which way the fur is growing. Not to add any confusion to it, but there is that element of how things are laying in, all with the way the fur goes. Now here's that glazing I was talking about. I'm actually going in uh, with a very transparent mixture uh, over her back. And, uh, and that's going to create the shadows that I need. And I've got kind of cleaning up some of the areas around her, those whiskers over her head area. You know, I'm laying them in with a, um, a dagger brush, but then I had to clean some of them up a little bit. But yeah, it's, it's little bit by little bit, it's coming in. So you can still see that shiny area over her back. And I will lay the detail in over the galkid glazing that I did, but it's, it'll all come, it'll all come together, I promise. Now, you know, I do like to flip my canvases when I'm working just to get those hair angles in her. So you'll see me flip a canvas, sometimes upside down, sometimes right side up, sideways, whichever, whichever way it works for me to lay something in. Obviously, I'm doing the whiskers here with my dagger brush, and it, it just helps me to lay them in correctly. And they do have a lot of heavy whiskers because, you know, these, these animals do fish at night. Okay. Here's the finished piece. I'm really, really tickled with how it turned out, and I hope you are too. This was a fun piece. Well, I hope you enjoyed watching me paint the jaguar today. I certainly enjoyed painting it. Of course, spots, 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 lots of so spots, lots and lots and lots of spots. Um, this piece was fun. I was able to create kind of the shadow down the back of her neck. Um, she's got that little bit of foliage kind of coming over the back. And I was able to do that with uh, a little bit of glazing using a product called um, Galkid, which is made by the folks, the good folks at Gamblin. And uh, so I was able to paint that after I've done some of the detail and add some of the detail on top, but it's a really cool way to do some glazing. So again, I'm pretty darn pleased with how this one turned out and I hope you are too. So again, thanks so much for joining me. Uh, again, if you're not my subscribers, go ahead and, and subscribe right there. It's not so hard, and I appreciate that so much. Give me some thumbs up. I need to know that you like what you're seeing here. And if you really, really like what you're seeing here and you want to go a little bit more in depth, consider my uh, subscribing to my Patreon page and becoming a patron. So again, thank you so much for joining me today, and until next time, see ya.